One thing I forgot to show you guys just a minute ago is actually down the front. There's actually um, there's a trim adjustment down the front for the um, for the front wheels. It actually works too. This machine is certainly not the quickest machine out there on the road, but can't expect too much, I suppose, for ninety dollars worth of kit. So, um, and you see on the transmitter as soon as we press the light, just give the thing a quick flick, and you can see the light come on and off. Might um, might speed the car up a bit, I suppose, if I lift the thing up and flick the on switch. That might give me a fighting chance of making this vehicle perform. Let's see, here we go this time. As you can see, it's certainly not, not the fastest thing around the place, that's for sure. Doesn't like the grass terribly much either. There we go, it's just about buried itself. The, um, not flash, not flash at all. I, um, I'm very disappointed in it. Um, the review I did earlier on the, um, little EZ Tech Toyota Land Cruiser that was $30 cheaper than this. I honestly think it's a much better vehicle. But this vehicle, I'm, I must confess, I'm not impressed with it at all. The, um, the tyres and this thing in particular are made out of plastic as well. Um, I can actually sort of peel them back a little bit. If, if you use a, bit, a, a fair bit of force, they'll actually peel back. In particular, can do on the rear ones as well. They'll actually sort of peel back a bit. When these tyres wears out, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do for tyres. Um, I don't know. But, um, yeah. I'm not going to spend too much time on this car because, as I said, for $90, I'm really disappointed in this vehicle. The, um, the EZ Tech Toyota Land Cruiser is a much better vehicle. And that was run flat chat too. That's a brand spanking new charged up battery there too. So it's, it's nothing to do with the battery. Cheers, guys.